After the phone is powered down, the battery door can be removed to reveal the battery and the SIM or SD cards, which will need to be removed as well. Next, the 10 total Phillips screws in the back housing will need to be removed. The S3 had various models, depending on the carrier, so your repair may differ slightly from mine. Once all the screws are out, a thin opening tool can be slid in between the back housing and the midframe of the phone from the battery bay. Twisting the tool around inside of the housing slightly should begin to unseat it enough that you should now be able to begin unclipping it from the outside. Now that the back housing is free, the loudspeaker can be removed by first unclipping it from the phone and then prying it up in the same fashion as the back housing. To replace the back camera, we'll first have to remove the board. To do this, you'll have to unclip the following. The cellular coax cable, the clip for the display, the clip for the digitizer, and the front camera clip, though the camera does not need to be removed. The board can now be carefully lifted out of the midframe. Flipping the board over, you should be able to unclip the back camera and remove it completely. With the new camera, you should be able to align it and clip it onto the motherboard before carefully laying the board back into the midframe. The following cables can now be clipped back in. The front camera, the clip for the digitizer, the display clip, and the cellular coax cable. Now the loudspeaker assembly can be clipped back onto the board and laid into the midframe. The back housing can then be applied as well as the 10 screws we removed earlier. Finally, any SD or SIM cards that were removed can be replaced, as well as the battery and battery door, finishing the repair.